Hey everybody, this is Patricia. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought we would just do something different. I have been trying to think of things to film and kind of run out of some ideas. So, any ideas you guys have uh, of a video you want to see, please leave it down below. And so, I've got some kind of direction to go here. I'm waiting for subscription boxes to come in and uh, nothing's come yet. So, as soon as they do, I'll film those and get those up. But I thought, you know what, today, let's just do a chatty get ready with me. Um, it's just going to be extra chatty. I'm not going to be showing you how to put on makeup. I'm just going to be putting on my makeup. And we're just going to chat. I got my water. Got my water. And so this one might be a lengthy video. Uh, so if you want to pause it now, get something to drink. And um, yeah. Let's just go. If And I've had some people comment that they're not really interested in the chit-chat. Well, if you're not interested in the chit-chat, I'll see you in another video. But if you just want to sit and I'll just tell you about what's going on with me and what's going on, you know, in general, you know, we'll, we'll chat. So, let's get started. I've already um, washed my face, put on my skincare, and already put on my primers. So let's just get the makeup and just get going. And like I said, I haven't planned anything. I have not planned anything that I'm going to do, not even which foundation I'm going to wear. We're just going to we're just going to record and just put on makeup and just see what happens. I got a new shirt. I got a new shirt. Um what company is this from? Zanzia. Zanzia. I got it at um from Amazon. I'm a Prime member. And this shirt was only $13.99. Let me see if I can kind of show you. I don't know. I'm too close. It's just the shirt and it ties at the waist. It's just big. It's just a big flowy shirt. This, I got a size 18 and it's very true to size. So I do highly recommend that brand, uh, if you want to go on Amazon, I'm not sure if it's sold anywhere else. I was just playing around on Amazon and I have seen these style of shirts and I have really been wanting one and I saw it on Amazon for $13.99. So I ordered it. There you go. And I am extremely happy with it. It stays down pretty well too. This elastic, uh, in here, the smocking, it stays down really well. Although if I'm keep moving around, it'll probably pop up, but we're not going to worry about that. Okay, let's go ahead and just get started. Um, I'm using this Wet n' Wild Mega Cushion Corrector um, because I bought it and I hauled it and I showed it to you and I, I really need to use it. So I'm just kind of using this up, especially I got nothing going on today except for later I will be going to my mother-in-law's. Uh, Nathan and I are spending the night with my mother-in-law. Uh, her uh, neighborhood is having their community yard sale tomorrow so we're going to join in and see if we can sell some of our stuff make some money for vacation so nathan's got some little toys and i got some old purses and stuff like that so we'll see and i made some um i made some brownies uh, not brownies i made some muffins today i made blueberry i made strawberry and i made chocolate chip so we'll see how those go we'll have nathan sell those he's mainly stuff is for nathan to make money but i have a goal i have a goal of making 125 dollars um i know i won't do it all at the yard sale tomorrow but making 125 dollars between now and vacation and I want to ride in the Amphi cars at Disney Springs. Those are the cars that you can drive and then go into the water. I want to take one of those tours. Now, which foundation do I want to use today? Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's use this um, CoverGirl Simply Ageless foundation. I really like this. Uh, my color is in creamy beige. And I've had this a while, so I want to... See if I can't kind of use it up. My brushes and my sponges need clean, so ignore that. I need to do that after this video. So, but yeah, yard sale tomorrow. Um, 
And then on Sunday is Mother's Day, too. So to all your moms out there, happy Mother's Day. Unfortunately, my husband is working. He's working tomorrow. He's working today. He's working tomorrow. He's working Sunday. But even on his days off, they call him. He was off yesterday, and what were we doing? We had to, oh, we had to run out to the store to get a few things, and um, we decided for lunch to eat subs from Publix. I love a, a veggie sub. And instead of, you know, mayonnaise, which is not vegan, I have hummus put on it. Oh, it's delicious. I pick out what veggies I want. It's absolutely delicious. So anyway, while we were getting our subs, work kept calling him and aggravating him. You know, he's constantly, it's just like he's constantly working. And even if I was to go back out and get a job and... I don't think that would ever end. I think it would be a constant. So, yeah. There we go. You can see my see my forehead wrinkles. See, I have wrinkles. There we go. I've been getting some sun, not on purpose, just out and about around town. I can see. I tan so easy. You can see my different strap lines from different clothes I've been wearing. I tan so easy. I never have a problem tanning. And I have been doing self-tanner as well. Just the gradual self-tanner. Oh, I need a makeup wipe. I can't stay anything on my hands. Get that out. I'm going to throw that back so I can take it to my mother-in-law's tonight. i got to pack a little bag. I've already taken all my yard sale stuff to her house. We did that yesterday. So today, as you know, you may not know, but if you've watched my videos for a while and been keeping up with me, you know I'm carless. We only have one car now. And so my mother-in-law's gonna pick me up after she gets off work today. Pick, pick me and Nathan up. Now, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still coughing from when I had strep throat. I hate that. I hate that. Let's go with, con it's time for concealer. I'm gonna, I know I'm going to keep forgetting my steps. When I do it like this, I forget my steps. Well, let's try not to forget. Um, let's use up this Maybelline Fit Me. Look at this. We're going to talk here just like, you know, you're, we're just sitting and chit-chatting. My concealer, I'm trying to use this one up. This is a really good concealer. I like this Maybelline Fit Me. Um, I do really like the sharp uh, shape tape heart shape tape. But um, if you don't really want to spend $24 for a concealer, I like the Fit Me. And my color's fair. I have the hardest time uh, picking out what colors. Like in this, I'm fair. In shape tape, I still don't have the right color. I have light and I have medium. This is a little too dark. This is too light. I try to mix the two. I still have not got the perfect concealer in this, and I've told myself I'm not going to buy another one until I use these up. So, in some concealers, I'm medium. Like uh, my Maybelline Master Conceal, I'm light medium. Maybe my light medium is where I should be. But on this one, I have Fair, and it works works really good. I'm getting hungry. I need some lunch. Oh. We went one day this week. We went to uh, Dairy Queen. My son wanted a blizzard. And I definitely know better than to have a blizzard because, oh gosh, ice cream makes me so sick now. So, I didn't get anything, but it was lunchtime, and we were hungry, and I'm like, what am I going to eat at Dairy Queen? Because let me tell you, Dairy Queen is not um, the healthiest place to eat. And I ended up getting just a side salad, and my husband was really worried that that wasn't going to be a good lunch. But you know what? That side salad at Dairy Queen shocked me. It was really good. 
So if you're at Dairy Queen with your family and you're wanting to eat a little healthy, that side salad will surprise you. It was very fresh. And I got the light Italian dressing. And um, it looked like a, a cup of lettuce when he brought it to the table. Uh, but it had tomatoes and all that stuff down inside. And it was more than it looked like. So I was, I was pleasantly pleased with um, my Dairy Queen salad. So I thought I'd share that with you. But I don't know what I'm going to eat today for lunch. I've been eating some fresh pineapple. I like that. And I bought a dragon fruit. Have you ever tried a dragon fruit? It's wild looking. Five bucks. So it was five dollars. Inside it's a fuchsia. And it looks like a little bigger um, kiwi on the inside. It's bright fuchsia though. But I found it didn't have a lot of taste to it. It didn't have a lot of flavor. I don't think I'll buy another one. It would be really pretty if you were doing some sort of fruit. I don't know, salad or something, and you wanted the color in it. It, it looks really pretty, but it's just, it just didn't have any flavor to it. But I've been eating my pineapple. I love a fresh pineapple. Okay, now let's do some contouring. I know the light is not best here because my ring light is not in front of me because I'm looking at the wall. I'm right here at the wall. So I have a lamp and my light up makeup mirror. I have in front of me. So, um, I do have my ring light. It's over to the side and sending in light, but it's, this is not the best situation. But today's video is more about, let's just chat. So, that's why I, I went this way. If I was actually doing a real tutorial, I probably would be swung around to where the way I've been filming lately and getting the better light. But, yeah, so... You don't know, have to tell me my light's not good because I know it's not good today. Next, I'm going to do a little contouring. I bought this Revlon Insta Blush stick and a uh, Nude Kiss. This is the color I got. This is okay. I'm not 100% happy with it. ColourPop stopped making my Sculpty stick, but I bought this. And if you see, it's really not giving me a whole lot of color. It's okay. And I'm going to put some on this little area right here that I would like to go away and if you're wondering what I'm spraying my my sponges with this bottle it used to have a L'Oreal makeup setting spray now it has water with a few drops of tea tree oil and I just shake it before I use it and it's good for blending And just dampening my sponges. So you can use a uh, setting spray. That's what I used to use. But it was more expensive than water with some tea tree oil in it. So, And there's only like, in that whole bottle, I only put like four drops of tea tree oil. So there we go. Just give you a little, give me a little hollow in my cheeks. Next time for some real contouring. I'm going to use my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I love this thing. I love that. That look. Brushes behind you. And what I love about these, I got the one that you can replace the, the little things. This one I use more than any other and then I use this one. I need to use this one some too. Let's let's use this one today. Let's play. This one's a little warmer tone than this one. This one's more cool tone. Let's go a little warmer tone today. Let's just let's spread the love around, right? And I'm using this big fan brush. What brush is this? It just says Jumbo Kabuki fan. It's a crown brush. It's a crown. Jumbo Kabuki. Okay, and then brush a little up here. I love this brush for my contour now. This is my favorite. So I'm going to do my nose. My nose is crooked, but not so much that I want to get it fixed. But I do have a crooked nose, I think. 
I don't know why. I go going into the darker shade. Do these have names? They do. Never even paid attention to that. They have names. Sombre. So shadow play is on my cheeks. And some sombre. I wonder what that means in Spanish. I wonder if that's Spanish. A little bit of, you might not know about me. I went to college at the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale. And I lived in the dorms for two years. And then one of the girls that was in my classes with me, she lived with her mother and her sister in Miami. And um, I, I really wanted out of the dorms really bad. And I was thinking, you know, trying to find roommates to get an apartment. And she was like, well, come down uh, for a weekend and stay with me and my mom and my sister because her mother was looking to rent out a room to make a little extra money. And she said, uh, I didn't have a car in college. So she said, you know, we have all our classes together. You know, we can drive back and forth to school. I'll drive. And I'm like, and it worked out great. So for two years, I lived in Hialeah, which is a section of Miami. And I lived with a Cuban family, Maria and uh, Janine, her sister, and her mother. And her mother has since passed away. But she was a great lady. She didn't speak English. And I learned to speak Spanish really quick. But um, those were fun days. And I do miss, I miss it sometimes. I really enjoyed that, but I was young then, you know. So, I just thought I'd share that about my um, college life. So now I'm gonna put some powder on. I'm using the Revlon Color Stay, and the color I'm using is medium, and I, I really like this powder. I really hit pan on it. I use it to set my makeup, to blend, all my contouring. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. I wish this cough would go away. I really do. Next, I'm going to put my eyebrows on. I use my uh, ColourPop, and it's in Dope Taupe. So, I need to get a little closer. I'm a little blind. There we go. Spring has sprung, and so has my allergies. Man, I've had a headache just about every day from allergies. Not a massive headache, just, you know, enough to be kind of irritating. We've been walking every day, every evening, around the neighborhood. Um, we call it Disney training. To get us ready for walking all those theme parks. Good enough. Good enough for today. Now, eyes. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm gonna pause you one second. I'm gonna pick something up. Okay, I'm back. I've got my monthly beauty box. Let's see. I'm going to bring my trash can around and see if I can get some makeup out of here. Ow. Sorry. My ankle itched. So let's do some color pop eyes. Let's start with start with girly. We open get all my color pop out. 
Maybe I don't want to start with girly. Let's do something different. Let's go with peekaboo. That's peekaboo. I'm going to put it everywhere. My eyelids feel so dry. I moisturize them. I don't know why they feel so dry. Since you're watching, I'm gonna ask ask a I have an idea for a video. I've been watching well, I've already finished watching. It's over now, but the show Feud, it was on FX. Um, it was uh, Susan Sarandon and Jessica Lange, and it was about, um, pull my shirt down. It was about um, the friendship or the non-friendship, however you want to look at it, between uh, Joan Collins, Joan Collins, my gracious, Joan Crawford, and Betty Davis, like when they filmed uh, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane and then a little bit past that, up until uh, Joan's death. And it's a really great show. I forgot how many episodes, not a lot, like six, seven maybe. Uh, great show. But uh, it's really got me interested in Joan Crawford. And I thought I, m I might do a video doing a Joan Crawford look. And I was just wondering, would you be interested in that? Would that be something you would watch? Um, let me know. And I will film it because I kind of want to do it. I know people usually film videos like that around Halloween, but I don't know. I was just thinking about it. It's just an idea floating in my head. I'm looking for a nice mat. Sorry, my nose itches. Allergies. We go shop. What's this one? I spa. Let's do some I spa. This is I spa. I'm gonna use that as a transition shade. We found a brush. Probably need to clean. Yeah, let's clean the brush. I got a new brush cleaner, and it's the Sephora. I've had this before. I used up my. Elf. I didn't really, I didn't care for the Elf one that much. I know a lot of people did, but me, I just didn't care for it. And this works great. <coughs> now, I just use these for color change. You know, I don't use them for the, you know, as a cleaner for my brushes. I still go in with soap and water. A mild soap. It's pretty. If any of you, of you are wondering, that right there, that's a, that's a piece I did in college. One of my, one of my assignments, and I've always loved it. it it's a, Dr. Pepper can. It was for an ad, ad campaign. Sorry, I got quiet. I am liking this eyeshadow. I hope you can see it good. I'm liking this. I guess I need to set these out so I can put them in the description so I can tell you what colors they are. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. I am liking this. What did I do with the lid? Here it is. So this one was I Spy. I Spy is pretty. And then Peekaboo. Peekaboo. I spy. Um, now what? Now what can we play with? 
Brady. We'll use a little Brady. This was one of my new ones. This one's Brady. Also a mat. Get a little closer because I can't see. I can't see in blind. I'm going to try to work this in the crease. I think it's looking like a sunset. It's pretty. Wow. I'll take a selfie in good light when I'm done and put it as my thumbnail. see how it looks because I know the lighting is not that great. I never plan a look. I just get in there and wing it. I always do that. When I worked for Estee Lauder, I would have certain looks planned with certain shadows and that's the ones I would kind of focus on when I do my makeovers. But just for me, wing it and I I would find when I did that at work I just put on something from this palette or this you know this duo and then one from this trio and I'd end up selling them so somebody else could create that same look but I always kind of felt guilty about selling somebody so much you know eyeshadow I had I really had a when I worked for Estee Lauder there was times I kind of went back and forth. If I was behind the counter, I'm like, come on, Advanced Night Repair is awesome. And back in my day, it was $75. You know, well, sure, you, you get the $75 Advanced Night Repair. But then when I go around to the other side of the counter, the side the customer's at, I'm like, wow, you know, $75 is a lot for a bottle of, of serum. My mind, my brain would switch around like that. So a lot of times I would think, and I tried to take my customer's needs, you know, into consideration. Um, I always, I, I never assumed anything about someone because people, I used to have that happen to me when I go shopping. Never like it when I go in a store and somebody assumes by just looking at what I'm wearing or how I look, whether I have enough money or I might not have enough money to buy something. You never know. So, I never, I always offered, you know, this is what we have, but I never was one, I was never a pushy salesperson. And I had really good sales, so I figure I was doing something right. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. That's looking pretty. I want, what do I want on my lid? Shall we put on the lid? I don't really know. That's pretty. I wonder how that would look. I've never done. I've never put dark on my lids. The I've always had a light shade on my lids. Do we want to go with a dark shade on my lids and then kind of brighten the center? I got coconut and I have school bus. School bus is blue. Coconut is teal. Let's play with them both. Why not? You know, why not? If it looks bad, so what? I'm still going to put this video up. Let's just play with it. Oh, let me... I need to set all these colors out I'm using so I don't, don't forget. Did I use that? No, I use this. Hello. So I can put them all in the, put them in the description down below. Okay, I am going, I've been using the same brush on this entire eye look. That's okay. I'm gonna go coconut and I'm gonna go coconut halfway. Let's go exactly halfway with coconut. I got to get closer. I 
I just finished reading all the Harry Potter books. Um, followed up after I read each book, I watched the movie again. And it made a lot of difference and made a lot more sense to me. And a lot more things clicked. So I am ready to visit the Wizarding World of Harry Potter on vacation. Those of you who might not know, we are going to Universal, Orlando, and to Disney World. So I am looking forward to that. Ten whole days. I'm excited. I don't think we've taken a ten day vacation since my honeymoon, and my honeymoon was a two-week vacation. <clears throat> and we will be in Orlando, and hopefully work will not call my husband. <laughs> yeah. But I guarantee you, up until the time we go, he works every day. I bet he doesn't take a day off for about two weeks. All right, now I'm gonna take school bus. School bus, let me swatch it for you. Isn't that pretty? Well, you can't really see it. It's coming across darker than it is. It's a shiny navy blue. For some reason, it looks darker in this lighting. It's a shiny navy blue. And I'm gonna put it on the outer corner. I am going to, I've got something in my eye. Do I have that brush? Let me put the lid on school bus. I am going to take, where are you? Here we are. Make sure it's clean. I'm gonna take my blender brush from uh, BH Cosmetics. And I'm gonna go right across these edges here, right in the crease. So I'll try to blend out the edges a little bit, but I don't know. I might need, I might need a little something in there. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, if I shook you. <sighs> I'm going to take sugar, 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 one of my favorites. I'm going to take it with my finger and pat it right in the center. I've never put the dark on the lid, really, and then that's not really me. I feel like I need something here. I think I'm going to take school bus, which is the shiny navy. I'm going to take just a tiny bit. Let me see if I can't put it in the crease or just in the right here. Work it over a little. I like uh, the ColourPop shadows. You can, uh, the Super Shock ones, you can blend with your finger. Actually, the finger is the best way to apply them or use a synthetic brush. But they do work well with brushes, as you can see. Put a little, little darkness in there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
now I'm going to go back with Aspa, which is this lighter matte. And I'm going to warm this area up again. That'll help blend. Oh, that helps. Hey, that looks pretty good. We've been filming for 35 minutes. So this is a long video. There we go. I think it looks good, huh? What do you think? Now, I am going to do around my eyes. I think I want a blue waterline. And let me see which eyeliner I want for that. This one, um, I know they don't make anymore. The, they don't even make these cosmetics anymore. Prescriptives. This is called French Blue, and it's actually the same blue that's in my shirt here, I think, or close to it. So if you found a blue that color, I'm going to put this on my waterline. I've really been loving eyeliner lately. I've just been going crazy over it. Now for the top waterline. Yeah, I'm going to tight line instead of putting thing anything on the um, on top of the lid. I'm looking for. You. Where are you? Here you are. This new little um, eyeliner I got. The Makeup Forever Aqua XL in black because it is waterproof. And now I'm going back in with I Spy. Yeah, let's use this one. Let me clean my brush. I'm using my Royal and Lang Nickel detail brush. And I'm going to take I spy onto that brush. Might not work that well. I think this one is not a synthetic brush. You know, it's not working that well. Let me, oh, my foot's going to sleep. Let me find another brush. Okay, let's use this ColourPop one. Use this ColourPop liner brush. And go under that eye. Both sides. And now I'm going back with Brady, which is the darker of those shades. Okay. 
And now I'm going to take a little, clean that off. I'm going to take a little coconut and just go right on the edge. Try not to stick it in my eye. Okay. All right. I've got to move around. My foot is asleep. That's how long this is taking. Ah. Okay. Wake up, foot. Wake up. Now, mascara. <clears throat> Let's use the um, Sephora Lash Cri Craft Lash Craft Mascara. I do like this mascara a lot. Got it in a Sephora box. Probably will end up buying the full size. I will end up buying the full size. The question is when because I have a lot of mascaras right now I need to use now the feelings coming back in my foot don't you hate that Oh. Do you know my hot flashes have stopped for a little while? Knock on wood. I haven't had one in a little while. Haven't had a night sweat. Oh, my niece, Sunny, had a baby yesterday. So I got a new great nephew. His name is Aaron. I forgot his full name already. It's Aaron. But yeah, he was born yesterday. Oh, yay. Nobody's pregnant that I know of right now. So we're not expecting any more babies. He was the last baby for now but he won't be the last. <laughs> My older nieces and nephews are having children now, and I have younger nieces and nephews who are not even married yet. So, yeah, there'll be more babies. More babies. Yeah. There we go. I like those eyes. Hmm. Next, I'm going into Cheek Parade. And I am not going to pick California. Let's do, let's just do dandelion right here. This palette smells good. I think it smells great. Now, there we go. I'm not big on blush. Do you want to do some highlighter? Let's go with the Ofra Rodeo Drive. Looking for my brush. Do I have it here? Yeah, it's right here. There we go. Or if it's bright enough. Yeah, I think so. Let's see, I'm gonna use my finger and put it on my inner Oh yeah, that gold highlight. I think that looks really good there. Yeah. Okay. Lips, time for lips. 
Hmm. We'll get in the vice palette and play. Let's go crazy. What do we want? Hmm. Ha ha ha. I remember a lot of these totally shocked me when I tried them. I'm gonna do a red lip. Is red lip too much? I can do whatever I want. Or carnal. I'm going with carnal. I'm a little gonna play it a little safe. I'm gotten all interested in uh, eyeliners, but not lip liners. This is pretty. I think I'm going to mix it with something else. That's pretty in him. Should we stop there or should I go crazy? I've got prints playing in my head. Let's go crazy. All right. Well, let's take some at 714. That's calling my name. That's pretty, isn't it? I focused the color on the outer and then just right on the edges and didn't go too deep. Now, I'm not done yet. Wipe this off. And I'm going to take a little, we'll take a little wrath. That's that one right there. Like Dorothy's shoes from the Wizard of Oz. Still not giving me that really shiny. But it's pretty. I like that how that carnal mixed with that 714. These two mixed together made such a pretty shade. That looks pretty. And to top that off, oops, let me put my, well, I'm gonna leave it out. I need to wash this. Wash my, I'm gonna take some more of this Oprah on my finger. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's take the hair down. Okay. What you guys think? There we are. And it looks pretty. I think that looks really pretty. I like it a lot. Good. We're almost 50 minutes, so uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for joining me, and we just sitting and chatting, and if you guys have any questions you want to ask me, leave a comment below. If you want me to do a chatty get ready once a week, let's make that a thing if you want to. Let's do that. Leave me some questions down below, and I will save them and answer them um, next week. And we'll make this a regular thing. See, it's Friday. I'll go ahead and just upload this video. And um, we'll just do this every Friday. So, 
leave me some questions down below and I will answer them next Friday. Um, if you have any other ideas for videos, leave them down below. I would love that. Uh, and if you want to see me do a Joan Crawford look, let me know down below. Uh, I'll do that. Um, so yeah, I think this was fun. I think this should be something we do once a week because this was, this was fun. Just put on makeup and just see what we come up with and try out some new stuff and yeah. And I'm loving these lips I've come up with today. I love them a lot. So thanks for watching everyone. Love y'all and I will see you next time.